Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So this is the month that I will be paying off my first student loan and that got me really excited. So much so that I decided to actually start a spreadsheet that will track my current and my other student loans. So in this video, we are going to go over that spreadsheet and talk a little bit about my first payoff. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dred and I post personal finance and dividend investing videos. Currently, I am documenting my journey in paying off my student loans. So if you're interested in seeing how everything unfolds or just show your support a simple like subscribe or even just sharing the video helps this channel a lot and I just want to thank you in advance for doing so so let's get into the video before we go over this spreadsheet though I just want to give you a quick disclaimer and that is that this spreadsheet was made by myself and I made this on my own uh, I referenced other stuff online but then I had to make it on my own because I have a different situation as well and you'll see that later on so there's going to be a lot of screw-ups a lot of missing information and maybe even wrong formulas right now I have only put like the first information regarding my first student loan and maybe a little bit about the other student loan and I'm only thinking of actually putting student loan information regarding Salome loans not the other ones but who knows maybe in the future I might do that but that is still to be determined anyway this is how my student loan payoff tracker looks like right now all right so this is what my student loan payoff tracker looks like right now we have the months right here on this column and then we have the disbursed amount we have the loan balance and then the interest rates right here interest amount uh, accrued interest basically and then the amount paid remaining balance and any extra payment that i made towards the loan now a little bit background regarding my first student loan is that i went to uc san diego and we run on a quarter system that means three months per quarter uh, and that's like what compared to a semester which is around four or five weeks around four four weeks sorry four months rather it's around four months to five months for you know compared to that one we were really running fast but anyway if you see here i have a total disbursed amount of 2500 and then they disperse it in two separate occasions during january around january 2018 and then march as well i'm not really sure when they actually disperse it i, I just put this as arbitrary numbers or more of like the number or the date when i actually started paying it off you know but yeah this is how most student loan works you know when you ask for a student loan uh they don't give it to you directly uh they give it directly to your school and they don't give it to you lump sum they give it to you you know by installments based on how many quarters you have left or how many semesters you have left so in this case for the very first quarter which ran from september 2017 till the end of 2017 um we could actually pay off any remaining tuition fee that we had so we had to pay it out of pocket however for the year 2018 till the end of my school year there around june 2018 we could not make uh, any payments out of pocket so we had no choice but to take our student loans and if you actually look here at the interest rate you might be wondering why are there different interest rates for this guy and it's because i took a variable interest rate okay and i know what you're thinking uh you know you, why did you take variable interest rate you should be taking uh, you should have taken fixed interest rate because it's more predictable and you know it, you'll probably not be concerned about all this volatility but you know that's what i took because of, i was a very naive college student back then um you know i wasn't really uh brought up into this type of things you know as a filipino college student um i was the first one to actually go into a university and take out student loans so my parents didn't have not much knowledge regarding this stuff so it fell onto my hands and it became my responsibility basically to do all this research and even with all the research that i did some of them just didn't click right away so i just took out the student loans without you know doing much uh, research or think about the consequences afterwards when taking variable interest rate because i just wanted to go to school and that was it you know but anyway my focus right now is really paying it off and you know for now um the interest rate actually falls towards uh 7.46 and yeah anyway if you see here i'm paying I'm, i paid it like actually starting from january 11 i only did the minimum payments and it took quite a while actually to get it down because it only started uh to actually go down a lot faster when i started documenting my journey here okay so around september or august i started paying it off a lot more faster i added extra payments and there we are right now you know we are here january 2020 and i'm down to my 310 dollars and 96 cents now in here it actually says this but when once i actually do my payoff amount 
in Sally May's website because that's where I'm going to be doing it. I won't be doing it on the app because I can't do the calculate payoff immediately um, because and then I can't see how much accrued interest um, they will put on top of the 310 and 96 cents. Okay, but the Sally May website they don't actually have the same amount. They have less than that because they didn't include the 37 cents that accrued uh, on a different. Uh, timeline or i don't know like date range i don't know why they w wouldn't add it there but yeah anyway if i actually started paying it off a lot sooner like you know that's why i made this tab right here you can see that i would have probably paid it last year or 2018 probably around september october uh but of course this interest amounts should change should be different i didn't actually calculate everything correctly so i would have probably paid it off around july or august maybe even sooner uh june 18 uh june 2018 and that's how my payoff tracker looks like right now and of course there's like a lot of mistakes here because the interest rates uh sorry the interest rates are variable so it really does take um a lot a lot more calculations to kind of like figure out what the correct interest amounts are and for the interest amounts i don't even have it calculated correctly it's it's manually logged in uh based on the billing statement that i got so everything is manual not everything is not automated yet but we will come to that point i will fix everything and then maybe in the next uh reiteration of my payoff tracker it will be a lot better and yeah i will be adding other student loans here as well most likely a lot of the salome ones i'm not sure if whether i'm gonna add my college avenue loan here because i want to make sure that i've got everything correctly First. but anyway that's how my student loan payoff tracker looks like right now so that's pretty much it for my custom student loan payoff tracker I will be fixing how the spreadsheet looks like I will be adding more functionality to it adding more information regarding it and correcting the formula so that I can get a more accurate calculation also I will be adding other stuff like maybe a graph because I like being visual on it and that helps me understand the numbers a little bit better and of course I will focus more on the foundation and you know those other things will be just like some add-ons that I will be adding in the future what matters is basically having that foundation for the student loan payoff tracker so that I can accurately calculate everything and you know just see how I am actually doing with my payoffs for the other student loans as well because I don't know uh, this is pretty cool for me right now kind of like seeing all the numbers kind of like unfold and see how I'm actually doing and kind of like also see how I can do better on my other student loans so that's pretty much it Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. If you like the content here so far, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment or any recommendations that you have regarding my spreadsheet because God knows I really need the help with this channel as well. And obviously, you know, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell if you want to get notified whenever I post new videos like this one. And also, I'm on Instagram at Daily Dread. Add me there so we can chat, you know, through the DMs, obviously. And then after that, you can just send me ideas there. If you have any more questions that you haven't addressed here on YouTube, then definitely send it to me there because I am quite active there as well. Uh, send me ideas there, articles, and any video recommendation or ideas that can help me, you know, just, you know, just pump up content, basically. And you know what? That's pretty much it. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.